How's it going? It's Nasty T, and this is my first impressions of Advanced Warfare. We're done with Call of Duty Ghosts, out with the old, in with the new, and uh, that is good news. Actually, on Twitter, I got double-digit questions, people asking me my first impression of this game, which for a channel this size was actually really cool, and the whole reason I started the channel, I know I've said it in previous videos, is I don't have a ton of friends that play Call of Duty, a ton of people that are interested in the game, so the reason I started the channel was to be able to have conversations with people about Call of Duty, a game I really like to play. So I've gotten a lot of feedback lately, and that's been huge, it's been really fun, so I decided to make this video which is going to lead into a little bit of a video series because I know a lot of people on YouTube you know make videos hey this is my opening thoughts on the game this is what I liked and didn't like this has potential which is great I like those videos but I feel like with a game this big this different let's face it from any COD from uh, World at War to Black Ops to MW3 this is the biggest change of any Call of Duty in history because of the new movement system there's so much customization with the kill streaks and the weapons just everything is totally completely different so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it up into a few videos I think four or five of my first impressions we're gonna talk about everything from maps to guns to the movement system kill streak customization there's a whole lot to be excited about I know a lot of people are really fired up about this game and uh, I picked it up the day it came out and I was off from work so I played it for nine hours I got it at 1 p.m. and I played it until I went to bed I just had a full day of playing it it was a lot of fun my first impressions I really like it a lot I like the movement system I was really worried about the exosuit kind of taking over the game or becoming uh, overpowered or being really dependent on the exosuit powers but from day one I don't really think that's the case that's very good the movement I really love a lot uh, in previous Call of Duties and just shooters in general if someone sees you first like let's say I'm taking B and someone comes up from behind me they pretty much automatically win that engagement you know 10 out of 10 times but with the new movement system you can see them use their little jet thing on the radar or just when they start to hit you you can boost to the side and avoid things and I think that's very good for players that want to put the time in and get better at this game so I think the skill cap is going to be a little bit higher but my first impressions I like it a lot I love the movement system it's really really fast paced action which is great I know that's why people come to Call of Duty I think the skill cap is going to be a little bit higher when people master the movement because that uh, the double jump plus the thrust is just huge because you can do it sideways backwards you can go back towards the ground and it's really a lot of fun like I said I played this for like eight or nine hours the first day it came out so that's a good sign but um, like I said gonna be talking about guns maps gonna be talking about the exosuit so it's probably gonna be about a four or five part series but really excited to bring you guys advanced warfare this is the first video of mini we're moving on from Ghosts. I know we have the Optimal Class series for Ghosts, and I'm definitely going to be bringing that back for Advanced Warfare, but I don't think it's right or ethical or smart or there's a whole lot of words I could throw in there. Um, I get really frustrated when people make YouTube videos that I don't think are based um, in fact or based in experience. Because the whole thing with the optimal class is understanding weapons, understanding everything before you play the game, so you're prepared for every situation. So if I put out an optimal class on the gun I'm using right now, and say, hey, it's good at this, I think it's good at that, just based off one game, that's just really not going to be the case. It's going to be me just taking shots in the dark. I don't even know the name of this weapon. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but um, I see a lot of people coming out with videos like, hey, this is the best gun in the game. And I get it. They're trying to provide content. They're trying to come up with something so people um, will be entertained. I get it, but for to, to say that you already know what the best gun in the game is, or the best tactic, or the best anything, is just straight up a lie. So I'm not going to be doing best gun in the game video um, ever, and definitely not soon. Um, but that's just kind of a preview. I wanted to let you know the optimal class series will be coming to this game, but probably like a month in. I'm gonna be doing videos probably a couple of weeks for the first month or two, and then once I get a feel for all the weapons, um, get all the stats and everything, then I'll start making the optimal class videos because I know um, people do like those. So just wanted to give you my first impressions. It's a thumbs up so far. I was really skeptical about this game. I was really excited, but I was also really nervous. And I would say for launch day it delivered. I did have some lag issues, but I'm gonna chalk that up to a billion people playing this game the first day. I'm sure there'll be you know patches that come out with minor fixes for the lag, so not too worried about it. That is classic Call of Duty. Um, in case you thought I was playing Titanfall for a second with all the movement, that guy just hanging out in the corner with a shotgun. That's funny. That just brings me back to every Call of Duty game. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Nasty T, and thanks for the view.